What was the point of this video? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, that was a really interesting video, but let's see if we can step it up even further. Let's go Sub-Zero with a radiator. All right, so some of you may remember a couple of months ago, I put this Be Quiet Top Flow CPU air cooler upside down in a bowl of ice um, with the Ryzen APU on there. So back then I could only get down to about 10 degrees Celsius because of, yeah, stupid laws of physics. So we're going to step it up. I still have this ID cooling Frost Flow 280. So um, let's find a bucket to put this radiator in and then freeze the whole thing. All right, so I have my radiator and I found a legendary pink bucket, by the way, inside joke. Uh, but the idea is this goes in a bucket with really cool fluid and then this goes up to my CPU. Now the thing is, if I were to just pour water in here, put it in the freezer, freeze the thing to like minus 25 degrees Celsius, then not only would the liquid in the freezer no longer be a liquid, but the same would go for the liquid in the tubes. So that's the problem with this sort of setup. What I want to do is make sure the radiator and the pump fluid is running before I add the coolness to it. Uh, but I can't do it if this, is, if this is just a massive solid block of, well, ice. So instead I'm going to use windscreen washer. This is concentrated fluid. Um, I have a different package of it here, which says to keep it out of the reach of children. So, <laughs> well, this is uh, without parental supervision, so it should be fine. And uh, one liter of this stuff, with a liter of water should get me about minus 24 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna get five liters of this concentrated stuff, actually two of these bottles, uh, mix them so it's half water, half windscreen washer concentrate, and um, freeze the entire thing to minus 25, and then we'll put it in the bucket when the PC is running with the radiator also circulating fluid. And so, I've left this stuff overnight in the freezer, 17 hours at minus 25 degrees Celsius. It's all nice and frosty, but let's first do the important stuff. So I have OCCT running here, uh, and I've had it running for a while now, just to check what the temperatures are like with triple 120 millimeter fans blowing on the radiator. And our CPU temperature right now is at 76 degrees Celsius. Anyway, this is important to me because I want the liquid in the radiator to already be warm so that I don't freeze the radiator liquid and blow everything up. Anyway, let's um, <laughs> work some magic here. I hope everything, um, or that nothing actually breaks. I have this really, ouch, dodgy uh, fan mounts in here. There we go. That's the radiator out of the system. Feels nice and warm. Sorry for getting in your view like that. Um, what I have are these temperature probes. So I'm gonna put one probe in the radiator so we can check the fluid temperature. And then I have another probe over here to measure ambient temperature. But um, as OCCT is idling right now, I think it's probably time to start adding the stinky stuff. Oh man, this stinks so badly. Like, this is horrible. So, um, CPU temperatures at the moment, um, 73 degrees Celsius. Oh, this is so cold. So right now I have about a third of the radiator submerged. Bottle number two. Oh my, this is horrible. There's eyes in this one. All right, that's a, a full bucket. Okay, so what we can see here is our 
EC temp 2, so that's the bucket liquid temperature is at minus 12 degrees Celsius, so we are sub-zero. Um, but our CPU temperature is only at 64 degrees Celsius. Interesting, VRM is also at 66, so this is under like a long continued load. Um, there is some condensation going on here, as you can see, so it's definitely cool here. But I can't fully submerge the radiator, that kind of sucks. Uh, the reason I have these Noctua fans is if there was going to be condensation on the motherboard, it would just get blown away real quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly turn off OCCT. But I'm going to keep the pump running at maximum speed, so I've set this one up to run at 12 volts all the time. Um, we've just reached 12 minutes of testing anyway. And I want to see what happens to CPU temperature. Alright, so we've been idling for a few minutes now. And our CPU temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Our ambient temperature is 21, so we're 4 degrees over ambient. And I wanted to go under the ambient temperature, so this massively sucks. And the liquid temperature is minus 11 degrees Celsius at the moment. So I guess we failed on the um, going sub, sub ambient part. Kind of wish this works because this does look really stupid. Um, so I wish this worked. It didn't work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave OCCT running. And I want to know how long this liquid can actually stay cool with the radiator in it. Like how long will it take before... 10 liters of antifreeze gets hotter than ambient air. All right, so we're another hour and a half later and the liquid inside the bucket is still at minus 10 degrees Celsius right now, despite the system running under full load. So have we really learned anything from this nerdy experiment type video? No. Um, cooling results were very, very unimpressive. Um, so that's really disappointing. It's definitely not worth it because this stuff stinks, like horrible smell coming from this sort of stuff. It's also dangerous. You're using a lot of electricity, cooling the whole thing, but probably less than an air conditioning unit. So um, it was fun trying to do this. It's going to be a nightmare getting everything from the bucket back into the bottles. And we didn't go sub ambient, even under idle. So quite disappointing. Um, the reason for this sort of stuff, I'm not quite sure of. It could be the liquid inside the loop, could be air in the loop, but it's a closed loop system, so I don't really know if that can be the issue. Could be the thermal paste, it could be anything really. I can't really troubleshoot it because it's a closed loop system. So I guess if we had more liquid volume or if we could actually use this liquid in a custom loop um, to run on the system, that way we could get better results and just use a bucket as a reservoir. Um, we could go further with this sort of testing, but for now it's time to call it an end. Uh, we went 4 degrees over ambient temperature at idle and under load right now we are getting 62 degrees in a 21 degrees Celsius room. So um, yeah, this was all for nothing, but whatever, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up or the subscribe and even the bell icon, that would really help me out a lot. But for now, massive thanks for watching and if you want more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. But yeah, cheers.